I think you pretty much could put Mookie almost anywhere besides maybe pitching and catching, and I think he would handle it pretty professionally. JP Fireisen joining Fire Eisen joining us right now on FT Live. JP, good to see you, man. Looks like we got a nice, pretty background behind you, too. How's it going at camp? Good. It's going good. How are you guys doing? Look at this guy. Why are you yelling into the team? Don't yell into the yelling. screen. Yes, he is. He's like leaning forward like, can you guys hear me? <laughs> Up in Wisconsin, we normally don't have – we don't have – we usually just take pictures of each other and send them through the mail to tell stories. It's really nice up here. And don't think I'm going to be nice to you just because your mom is always watching the show and always in the chat. All right? Like, oh, true. Your true. mom. How about that? I knew this was going to happen as soon as I got on here with Kratzy. It's just a, just a constant big brother, uh, younger brother thing with him. So I knew this was going to happen. But uh, I get used to uh, yelling at the screen because I talk to my grandma on the phone all the time, Kratzy. Yeah. <laughs> That is so, that is so true. When grandma, my grandmother gets on FaceTime and she's like, you know, it, get, it gets lower and lower and she gets higher and higher on the screen. It just, you know, you don't, you don't see them. How's the brasso, yeah, man? How's so, your arm? Basically right here is where you get to see your grandma. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's so great. And your grandma probably just went outside and shot a moose. So that's just the, <laughs> no. the life you live in Wisconsin. <laughs> you know, in the Yoopers. Nah, he's an LA guy though now. He's uh, Hollywood. He is so not Hollywood. That is the only thing that I'm worried about with JP out in Los Angeles, other than the fact he doesn't have to pay for any meals because he's the poorest guy on the team, is the guy doesn't like traffic. So if they have, a, if they have an apartment at Chavez Ravine, he might live in it. <laughs> yeah, right next door, just so I can walk across the street. Yes. How's the arm? Because people don't know. Good. If you don't know JP Fire Rising, He's not going to tell his stats, but he was actually on his way to being an all-star in 2022. He had 20, was it 25 or 25 in the third innings scoreless? 24 and a third. 24 and a third. 24 and a third scoreless innings out of the Rays meat factory bullpen where they just run through guys until something breaks. <laughs> and you were on the way to being an all-star. And I couldn't have been more proud of you. You were killing it. And now you've been with the Dodgers. You rehabbed a shoulder. I'm not exactly sure what the surgery was. Shoulder, some kind cuff, of repair. Cuff, asking. Yeah, it was a cuff and labrum cleanup. Um, basically just built up scar tissue from playing uh, Division Three baseball, Kratzy. <laughs> so how's it feeling now? Now that you're on the vaulted really, Dodgers lineup. Uh, feels really good. Um, velocity's been coming back. Um, and pitches are coming back. Slider and changeup. So... Uh, actually thrown today, so this this will be the last outing before we leave for Korea actually tomorrow. So, but it's been feeling really good. It's been bouncing back and um, feel like I can throw, pitch and and pitch and throw the next day. So that's uh, the main thing moving forward is uh, being available and being able to throw every day. And you'll be on that roster. Have they have they posted that yet? Because we talked to Yarbrough yesterday and it's not completely finalized yet. No, not completely finalized. The uh, I'm going to Korea though for sure. So. Um, but then from there on out, yeah, obviously it's, it's going to be, a um, decisions from then, but, uh, just got to stay healthy and, and be available. That's, uh, one of the strongest tools, right? What kind of, what kind of confidence do you have now that the fact that the Dodgers got all these guys and got rid of a lot of guys on their 40 man roster and you rehabbed the whole year last year and they still kept you like, what kind of vote of confidence did they tell you? Or does just those actions give you? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that last year when they told me that they were going to basically trade for me and then put me on the 60-day to rehab me all year, it kind of gave me a confidence that uh, they want me to be around and they want me to be a part of this team this year and hopefully for the future going on. And um, I love it here. It's been great. Uh, obviously, uh, can't complain about the teammates that I have, and I'm excited for this year with, with the boys. And uh, it's going to be fun. I mean – it's crazy right now with all the media and everything around, but I don't have to worry about that, as you know. I just kind of walk in quietly and walk back out quietly and let the big guys handle that stuff. How many reporters have asked you questions? Like, are you chilling oh, man. at the my first, my first day I gave in lives, I gave up a homer to Shohei. And it yes! Was yes! I had, I had him. I had, like, it was, like, literally, like, a herd of cattle as soon as I walk in the clubhouse after live. 
what, what was it like facing him? What pitch did you throw? Where was the pitch? Was it different giving up a homer to him? And I was like, ah, it, well, it was a middle, middle fastball, and he hit it to the moon. And it feels like every other homer I've given up, and it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Did you feel like did you feel like the reporters were kind of cheering for him? Like did you feel like they were kind of like like embarrassed they had to ask you, but super excited that they had to ask oh, you about Shohei's super, homer? Yeah, they were super excited that I gave up a homer. I mean it made their I think it made their their entire it was his first live BP. It was like a I'm pretty sure it was like a three two heater and live BP and I'm like, Well you throw it down the middle, see what happens and whack. I mean, good. Yeah, I was like, ah, oh, I got the boys right. All right, Shohei's ready to go. We're gonna hit some homers this year. You did it on purpose. You wanted you <laughs> wanted to get a little bit of pub. I get it. The foundation was coming at, you know, a little bit extra, Japan, a little, you know, donations from from Japan. I get it. I get it. I I, I know I know what you did. You got your event right there in your hand. That's so I nice was just gonna you. say I, I wanted to say I have my event for you because this whole thing in, in uh Scrantonia uh, Kratz, every time someone has a coffee or something, he says that all oh, their a coffee's their event. Oh, I need it. And he, Kratz's act is this. <sighs> oh, my event in the morning is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he makes his smooth, his, his smoothie filled with every sort of kale and spinach and <laughs> green root that you could find in the ground and dirt and like, and then he's he's like sitting there gritting his teeth, chewing on dirt through his butt. Yep. He's still doing it. They're running out of dirt in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I was wondering if he was chewing through it yet. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait. Still do it. I, one more question on the Otani media storm. Did you think at all about giving them something unique, just because they're clearly there trying to find something different? And I do feel like sometimes they'll ask a baseball player a question. He's like, "I just threw a pitch. It's live BP in spring training." And he hit a homer off me. Like, did you think, you know, last night I was up all night thinking about it <laughs> and I watched the Rocky movie and I ran up and down my steps, you know, like just something random. And then be like, nah, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I, I should have. I really should have just like said, like, this is my entire dream to face him. And, and it was amazing. And yeah, I mean, it's Gro crazy. They have they must have a full live feed of, of him and Yamamoto um on tv somewhere because they have cameras on them at all times it's a it's a it's a yamamoto it's a yamamoto tani documentary they're just constant live feed you can buy it you can buy subscriptions to their channel just a live feed so if you if you have anything you want to advertise just show up you know kind of mm. like lean in hey you spent hold some up. time in japan hold something right here yeah, for a little advertisement something. next to them Hold your, hold your, hold your Venmo behind there, so people <laughs> in Japan can, can Venmo you. Hey, more Shohei homers, Venmo me now. <laughs> yeah, I'll give, I'll give Shohei more homers, or you can Venmo, and like people can ask you questions to ask Shohei. So it'll be like oh. your way of supplementing your income since you're since you're only in only in arbitration, which is. Weird. I, I was gonna say, I feel like that would be something I probably would have done back in the day. You would have, <laughs> what, what he said about Scrantonia, he meant Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yeah. It's, it's the AAA with the Yankees. That's where we played together. And then he got traded to the Brewers. It's where Dunder Mifflin is. That's how most people know. <laughs> yes. We, yes. We, we both got traded from the, the Yankees to the Brewers at that, from out of Scranton, didn't we? Oh, yeah. I got traded out of there in 18, came back and got you traded out of there in the end of 19. Yep. All right, so this is that time, JP. Jan is in the chat. She says, hello. We need a little background on how much Ma loves being part of the FT fam. And she made a request for Kratz and JP to talk a little bit about USA baseball. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, uh, mom is, I, I'm going to say that she's got to be top three fan of your guys's. I don't know who <laughs> one and two would be, but she's got to be close. Um, Actually, when I told her that I was going to be on this morning, she's like, don't let Kratz bully you. Don't be mean back to him. And I'm like, Mom, this is going to happen. This is uh, kind of what kind of what our entire life was together is Kratz was my older brother making fun of me. So it, it's going to it's going to be. But uh, no, Team USA was uh, one of the coolest honors. Um, I mean, I 
got to give it to Kratz. He basically got me on the team and, and pulled me onto the team and, and got me there. So, um, but just amazing. I mean, the whole, the whole experience of, of playing in different countries. And I mean, playing in Japan was, was amazing. Just their, their fan base and, and, how they go about the game of baseball and how much love they have for it was just, it was so much fun. Yeah, it was a blast. And I didn't get you on the team. I made a suggestion about a player who was freaking really awesome. And you made, you have made so many like strides to improve that like it's, it's a no brainer from when I first joined the team in 18, I think it was the first time that we played together to 19 to the end of 19 when they started making the team no brainer but your mom is awesome.com and being a being she's she's number three she's number three biggest fan for sure yeah i, I was gonna say she's got to be right up there i'm sure the one and twos might be family members and, and stuff like that but it, it, outside of your guys's circle she's probably number one i love that yeah we appreciate you jana yeah um by, by the way i just thought of this on, on the dodgers front because i'm looking at at your history, including transactions. So you were in the Willie Adamas trade with the Brewers. I know this is 80 light years above your pay grade and your job, but there is a chance at some point that the dude that you were traded for becomes your teammate again. Willie Adamas has only been linked to the Dodgers for like a year now, and the Brewers have been like slowly reloading. So I'm just throwing that out there that you guys could be friends in the future. Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Especially since JP was, it was the JP trade, not the Clint Fraser trade, not the, not 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 you and you and Ben were the were the were the trademarks of the Clint Fraser trade. Yeah, the, no, come on, we were the we were the three and four, but we 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 wanted to be the trademarks. We wanted to be. Yes. Who's still playing in the show? Yep. Yep. And Ben's Ben's still chucking it too. Uh, I mean, he's battling some injuries and stuff, but uh, he's still going. So it's, it's uh, good to see him last year out on the bump again. Yeah. And Drew Rasmussen was in the Adamas trade with the race. Yeah. Yep. For, for this ugly mug. Yeah. Yeah. Drew, Drew, I think Drew might be the centerpiece of that one. I, no offense to Willie and myself, but uh, Drew's kind of nasty. It might, it might work out. Willie's, Willie's done well. I think it's one of those trades that, it worked out for everybody, especially look where you're at now. Yeah, kind of hit on, kind of hit on what Scotty was saying a little bit. You've met Mookie for a little bit. I think Mookie's kind of your kind of guy. You nap before games. He plays ping pong and bowls before games. You sit and watch the games. He plays every position during the game. Do you think? <laughs> do you think he can do what they're asking him to do in the sense I, of what I, you've seen baseball players, not just Mookie Betts? But a big league baseball player plays shortstop in the show. I think I think you pretty much could put Mookie almost anywhere besides maybe pitching and catching, and I think he would handle it pretty professionally. Um, I've seen him do other things like ping pong and bowling, and it's pretty impressive. I think that he's uh, just able to handle that stuff. And um, I think, yeah, I think that Mook could take care of anything you ask him to on the baseball field. So pretty much he's not better than you or I because he couldn't pitch or catch in the show. Yeah, that, yeah. let's go with that. Yeah, we're, I, we're better than he that. Could, he probably could pitch, but uh, I don't know if, if, if that would be his best position. And I'm sure he could catch too, but I don't know if he'd want to. Are you? No, that would, that would, that would totally be – that'd be like a chandelier in a haunted house. We don't need, we yeah. don't need that. It'd be, it'd be ridiculous. <laughs> but in, injury-wise, you wouldn't want him on the mound, right? Like you, no. you, you're you're hurting you're hurting chances you're hurting value, right? So, but I'm confident he can play shortstop for us. Good. So injury wise, or do you have something else on Mookie? Well, I, I wanted to get into the Korea series, but okay. What do you got? No, I was just gonna say injury wise. Everybody always talks about ah, oh, what's the difference in the Rays when you get there? What's the difference in the Dodgers when you get there? Do you feel like, because your career, you kind of hit on it, Division three to a throw-in in a trade to kind of how to establish yourselves with the Yankees, then you did, and they weren't calling you up. Then you get traded, and you finally make your debut older in your career. Do you feel like the Rays set you up to have success in the big leagues, knowing and you knew yourself that you could get hurt 
the do, doing what you were doing in the sense that you had to put everything you had into it. And you know what? If it happens, it happens. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. I think that they, for one, they gave me the best chance when I went over there uh, working with Kyle Snyder and and uh, the staff there. Um, I mean, they just changed my whole thought process of how I pitch and how I attack hitters when I got over there. Um, and then also just helped me fine tune some things. And I mean, that year it was like, basically I wasn't playing catch in between outings because my shoulder hurt so bad, but they knew that and I knew that. And it was kind of just a, we're going to ride this shoulder out until it can't go anymore, basically. And finally in June 3rd on Texas, it was like I threw and then I was coming back for a, a morning game trying to throw back to back. And I got up and the adrenaline was gone. And so um, arm was hurting pretty good. And uh, Snides came out on the mountain. He's like, we got to get one more out. I'm like, okay. And then I went in the dugout and I was like, all right, my, my arm's done. And they, they kind of knew it and I knew it. So it was time to get it fixed. But yeah, they, uh, they let me run it as long as I could. And I was trying to stay healthy and pitch as long as possible. But uh, sometimes that just doesn't happen. Was it worth it? Because we're talking about it. Ken Rosenthal put a big article about pitching injuries and velocity and the sweeper, the power change up, all this stuff. Like, it's a great article that him and Eno Saris wrote. But was it worth it? I mean, I think 100% it was worth it. Um, I, I think that if I don't have that outing or oh, the, that entire year of outings, and the shoulder thing was going to come sooner or later. I've been dealing with this for forever I mean I dealt with it in college and it just kind of does, does this peak and valley thing with me and finally getting it fixed and and being healthy for this year and having like a, a full year of like having a feeling of what a good shoulder feels like it's is going to be really great to, to experience I'm happy for you so Thank what's you. the difference Appreciate then that. what's the difference then JP with the Dodgers like you got there and tell me something different about your experience aside from 90 million more media members like within the org what's it been like I mean it's just a, a whole different process uh like as much as crazy as it is most professional teams do these measurements in the beginning of the year every spring training and then you don't hear about the measurements until next spring training well <laughs> when you come here they do measurements and, and stuff and then they give you reasons and they give you different things to do to basically fill your deficits and, and make you as good as possible. Like their goal isn't, uh, let's just keep him healthy and, and hope he pitches out his contract with us and, and does well for us. It's like, let's make this guy be a lifelong baseball player and see how healthy we can keep him and, and for the future going on too. So it's it's just a little different. They, they It seems like there's more care um, with their guys, even, even with the guys that they don't have the money invested into. Can you give us an example of that? Because I went through all those tests. They hung your leg off the table to see your yeah, hip. Yeah, I mean, range. they just like certain things for me, like my deficits. I have like a my left hip is internally rotated more, so I have. They give you a certain breathing pass and and different mobility stuff to work it out and get it prepped so that when you go out and play catch, your body's in the best position that it can be. So I mean, just like all those tests, all those mobility tests, they they actually have a different type of way about going about it. And just like they give you a, an app and like, here's your, here's the things that we see on you that, that aren't positives and they're all negatives and how we can work around them. And, and here's different types of mobility movements or strengths training basically that, that they can uh, adjust to, to make your body be the most optimal it can be. And everybody is on the same page. So you get those from the training staff who then hands it over to the strength staff who then hands it over to the masseuse and it's just a full circle where everybody working together? It, yeah, every time, like when I go get a shoulder stretch, it's all right, we check this, 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 and this. Um, this is this is deficit today, go do this in the weight room. And then you go to the weight room and then you, do, so it's just like, it's a process and, it, and they actually, it's not just, yeah, here's your shoulder stretch, go have some fun, play catch. There it is. If you wanna play that back, People want to know what the difference is in the Rays, in the Dodgers, in teams that are all in. When I say an organization is pushing all together, all everybody's pulling on the same rope, there it is. There's your physical representation, actual usage. That is what winning teams do. Do they spend money? Sure, most of them do. But 
That is what they do. To J.P. Fireisen, which most Dodger fans may not even know who he is yet. Yet. By the way, I mean, you weren't kidding. Like, J.P., is it almost weird to think back that the last time you pitched, you had 24 and a third going in 2022 without giving up an earned run? And obviously you said, like, at some point it was going to have to get fixed. But you were, were you like, really now? To your yeah. shoulder. <laughs> yes, I was. Nothing. He he I'm texted like, me that. Really? He texted me that. He's like, I was like, no. I was like, you're going on the IL? He's like, it's time. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, granted, the 24 score, I got, there's luck involved. Everyone knows that in baseball. I mean, uh, Josh Lowe robbed a home run for me to keep it scoreless. And like, so as much as I want to hang a hat on 24 scoreless, there's there's teammates and there's everything involved in this in this world of baseball and and some luck involved and uh, hopefully we can do it again. Um, but so far spring training haven't done the 24 scoreless. That's why it's spring training, right? <laughs> spring your, training means nothing. It's your blue Stats. glove. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you don't like the blue glove, do you? I mean, I get it. I you want to you want to be flashy. What is it, Nakona? Is that in Nakona? Yeah, been with Nakona since I was drafted. I was wondering if you if you changed or not, but no, you didn't. Come you on. didn't change with the blue glove. I mean, come on, man! That's like so I've always What's had wrong? a. Dark, I mean, the dark blue glove was the one I had in Scranton. I know, I know. You're always don't 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 let the Wisconsin. You know, you're a city boy. That's what it is. Don't don't. Oh, just, come on! You're a hundred percent a city boy. Next thing I know, you're gonna be driving around a Maserati. No, that's definitely not happening. <laughs> you you can put a dead deer on the back of a Maserati. Okay, now let's get to the Korea series, JP. So tell me how you're preparing yourself for the travel, for the series itself, and what your expectations are of the vibe, the atmosphere that it's going to be for, I mean, the most perfect timing ever, right? Like this has been planned, but then the Dodgers casually pick up Otani and Yamamoto. Yeah, I mean... Travel wise, um, they got us kind of. They had a sp sleep specialist come in and, and kind of tell us how we should program our sleep um, for getting over there. And then, uh, the, like the real bad one is going to be coming back, is what I've heard from everybody. Is that's when the jet lag actually sets in. Um, so we have certain uh, sleep schedules. Um, they want us to fall asleep after our first meal tomorrow when we get on the plane. And I don't know how that's going to work at 9 a.m. in the morning, but we're going to try. Um, but otherwise, as far as what the atmosphere is going to be like, I feel like it's going to be absolutely chaotic. Like just, I feel like this, the, it's just going to be an amazing experience for everybody involved. And then the fact that we have Shohei and, and Yoshi coming with us too, and, and bringing in even more of a crowd just to come and see those guys play. It's going to be, it's going to be, I think it's gonna be awesome. I mean, if it's anything like Japan, um, those those crowds and those fans were incredible. And so I'm excited to, to see what uh, South Korea has to offer. Have they given you any kind of like warning? Like, hey guys, like you guys are gonna be rock stars. We're not going out. Have they scheduled anything for you guys outside of the baseball field? Um, we just have a, we're going to, I wanna say it's some, it's some like castle thing. I don't know. I, I read the text and, um, they, they sent it out and said, if you want to go to it, um, reply back. But that's pretty much it. I think uh, uh, a lot of it's going to be just kind of make sure you don't get yourself in trouble. Enjoy the country a little bit on your off days. But uh, obviously, it's a business trip, not just a uh, social event. So um, we, we got a couple games to win while we're over there and, and come back 2-0 uh, and all and then get the season going. Is it weird that you're that you actually have like real games? Like the talk in spring training is always, hey, we're prepared for the beginning of the season. Now you're you're days out from games that actually matter for your record. Yeah, I mean it's really weird, especially because we're playing two games that matter, and then we have three games that don't matter after them. Uh, that's the that's the weird thing. It's like, all right, lock it in for this one and this one, and then you can relax for the next three, and then we got to lock it back in for the season again. Now, who are you most excited to? See sit with on the plane because I know you're not getting a first class seat. You do not have that much service time. You're getting the three three seats to yourself and try to bundle up. Even if even if Jana wants you to get, you know, make you a little blanky, like you're gonna have to bundle up. You're not getting your own first class seat. Who are you most excited to spend 14 hours on a flight with? 
<laughs> I don't know. They're, they're letting us bring uh, wives and girlfriends with. So, uh, the, yep, yep. So they're, they're letting us bring one other person with us to travel. So um, and? my girlfriend, my girlfriend Amanda will be sitting with me. But uh, um, otherwise, yeah, I mean, it should be a fun flight. Uh, I don't know how many wives and girlfriends are coming along, but uh, hopefully enough that uh, Amanda can stay busy with, with one of them, and then I can go hang out with the boys. <laughs> Oh, is that <laughs> does she, in the back? Does she know that? Does she know that that you're gonna ditch her for the guys you spend all the time with? And she can hang out with Otani's nah. wife. She can. I don't know that Otani's wife is. They're just married. That's it. She she can go. She might not be there. They're, they just got married. That's a good trip. Tell me if Amanda meets. Otani's wife or not. If you meet Otani's wife, you need to send a selfie to me and we'll put it on the show. <laughs> With your permission. Uh, I, I like, don't oh, yeah, yeah. I, don't, don't, don't sneak it. Yeah, don't, don't be, sneak it. Just don't be like, a listen, creeper. Listen, people want to see you. They freaking adore your husband. Um, it would be cute if we all got like a photo on the plane together with, you know, our card game and, and our, our coffee, our event all together on the plane after our 9 a.m. Go to school. Crash. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at you. You're so you're so happier. You're so happier. You have to text me about this Amanda thing, too, by the way. I had no idea. This sounds serious. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Yes, it, it's uh, going to be exciting to have her come to Korea and, and check it out. And she's already got a plan that she's going to go to the uh, DMC. So um, I told her enjoy that. I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay away from the border. Mm. Oh the, yeah, the the North Korea South Korea border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the DMT. Okay. Yep. Uh, yep. That's the yeah the demilitary sized yeah. zone Wrong. or whatever she calls so it. She, so she might not come back. Right. With you. You're not concerned. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> no, she'll come back. I think she'll make it. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. okay. Just making sure. A, a question about being on the Dodgers. Um, I think a lot of people just want to know what it's like to have so many superstars. We're covering Otani and Yamamoto. We talked about Mookie, and obviously Clayton should be around coming off the injury. He re-signed Freddie, et cetera. For someone like you, who's obviously a big baseball fan too, do you just like go up to a, a locker or go hang with a guy every once in a while, like a Freddie, just be like, yo, what's up? What's up? Want to hang out for a little bit and like start picking his oh. brain or you stick into the pitcher crew a little bit? You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm in there, you're kind of like a kid in a candy shop a little bit too, where you're like, all right, the best people at their craft on the planet and like half of them are in the clubhouse right now. So... I mean, I don't just like literally go and hang out next to their lockers, but like lunchtime or breakfast or in the training room, yes, you, you hang out and, and shoot the breeze with them. And I, Kratzy knows me, I'm a lingerer. I'll just hang around a conversation just for no reason. And so, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's awesome, but it's also like the aspect, they're my teammates too. So, I mean, if, I, if you treat them like they're famous people, I feel like that'd be kind of weird as a teammate, but having just time to sit down with, yeah, I mean, we have superstar upon superstar here. Um, and it was kind of crazy going to, you know, like Mookie and CT's events early in the year for their foundations and, and seeing guys like Mario Lopez and, and Paul Pierce and people like that show up. It's like kind of a different different atmosphere and different world with, with uh, as far as famous people. But uh, they're, they're still your teammates. And, and I mean, Kratzy would tell you this too, that uh, he'd, he'd find a way to make fun of them somehow. Yeah, it's not Wisconsin Oshkosh anymore, okay? So it's uh, that, there's that. But do you say Mookie or do you say Mookie? I say, what, what do you mean? Like, I, most of the time I say, what's up, Mook? But how do you pronounce his name? Mookie, Mookie. or Mookie? Mookie. Why, is there an accent I, thing I, I don't okay. know about? Yeah, what... Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're, I'm sure you're fine. Don't worry about it. It's just your what teammate. What do you want me to say, like, with a super deep O or, like, like a Wisconsin No, like, accent? I mean, I just I just wouldn't want somebody to – Mookie? Go, you want me to move? <laughs> I mean, maybe you, don't, maybe you don't say his name right or anything like that. I just don't want you to be embarrassed in front of your teammates. But you'll, you'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm done with the em embarrassing stuff. I, I'm, I'm used to it. I, I can be embarrassed. I'm okay now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um – all right, dude. Well, this has been everything I expected and more. 
Shout out again to Janet for being in the top three of the FT fam and JP. Actually, I'm surprised it took this long. We, we've been doing this show for a year and this is our first JP appearance because you are a fantastic interview. What took so long? The whole, the whole rehab thing. Okay. Oh, now he's back. Thing. Now he's back. Yeah, I mean, I, that'd be kind of a boring conversation. How's rehab going? Well, it's mm. like Groundhog's Day. You go, show up to the field, you do your rehab, you work work out, you throw, and then you go home, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. but you're we're, so much you're so much more than a baseball player. But we were waiting for him to give up Shohei BP homers. Yeah, he was he planned that as soon as Shohei he was like he was like, hey Doc, make sure I get put in the Shohei group. I want to <laughs> show him what this I got. I, I literally thought in my head, I'm like, this would be good for the foundation. This would be good, really good <laughs> yeah. for the foundation. Hey, lastly, actually, on the individual side, are, are you the same JP Fire Eisen? Did you come back with anything different? Like, what what are what's your pitching profile sc scouting report like? Uh, uh, honestly, same. I haven't caught every uh, every pitch. Of spring yep, training. same four seam four seam slider change up um okay. same as same as before nothing nothing's changed um hopefully get a tick or two of velo back when the when the arm is fully raring and ready to go and uh um but otherwise if i'm 92 93 i'm 92 93. yep bring it bring it we're rooting for you dude can't wait to see you on the mound um hopefully that's in korea enjoy the trip the flight the hangout with everyone and uh we'll do this again at some point but great talking to you jp Awesome. Thank you guys for having me on. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball the way it should be covered.